Video response for Gregory. He says, I would like to uh, confirm what extent the below grade parking garage extends towards and around the pool deck. As we go to the drawings, here is the bottom of the pool, swimming pool. Here are the columns. Here's the ramp that goes in and out of there. And that says garage floor level plan. So you come down the ramp and you park here or here, whatever. But And there's some elevators there. The butt part is, if you were of a mind, you could pick up some serious speed and slam into this column that's directly in front of us. But it's not load bearing for the, uh, you would take out part of the deck and your car. But it doesn't support the building structure. And we see punk shear around here. Mm, these guys punk shear, punk shear around these two images. Th these two columns here are the columns. Uh, so downloads, downloads. Um, disregard any of my porn here. It's not. For, it's my private collection. I get, that's never going to get old to me for me. Um, yeah, so where would it be? Uh, Surfside column. So it's a mixture. Here, here's a column. It's a mixture of column and then block work filled in. And then one of your beams going across, your solid beams and your block work filling it in. So it, it, it makes a nice little transfer down. Uh, let's see desktop. So that's the one I shown to Gregory. Uh, I want to talk to you about this. The lower location of the rebar that was unzipped, this is where it's at the lower part of this thickness of the pad, which is approximately nine inches, nine and a half inches, something like that. And his rebar that's uh, reinforcement that's higher up in the pad and lower also coming that direction. Here's the lap length is not, um, it's got some serious inch, inch integral connections with this lap lengthening deal because the uh, they spec 30, 30 times the diameter for the lap length. The I want to get you that image. Uh, I think that's going to be important. NIST is on the scene now. NIST is a uh, National Institutes of Science and Test Tech, whatever. Um, they're uh, they're interesting. They you can you can follow some of their results and then. They clearly point the finger at something, and then they uh, they'll backpedal also. And that was the uh, the we I think it's Iowa the Iowa bridge collapse. They clearly said it was uh, foundation issues with the with the uh, column. Um, trying to find it. It's okay to be white. Who says that? Oh, Coca-Cola. So you're making fun. So I took a quick screen grab. Um, if that offends you, oh, I'm sorry. It's okay to be any nationality. Like McAfee said he was whack. I thought that was interesting. Um, she shared it with people and it copies over to my computer sometimes. Or they share it with me and it, and it downloads. Here's the image here. So these two columns are underneath the structure. Column here and column here. Are these two these two columns right here? As you know, it offsets and it has a bit of an overhang. So these two columns, uh, it, it's 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 noteworthy. There's the yellow down there. That's the yellow down there. So we're we're at the bottom of the parking garage now, where cars drive, and there is so that's the down ramp. And there's some parking above, which you see. There's cars now that decide to park below. Um, Oh, he's not in his spot anymore. They should definitely charge him extra. The uh, so we have column here, this column, and this column um, appears to be for these two columns shifting a little bit. Let's look at that again. So this is the end of the the structure, the building, and then. Now I think this is the end of the structure. It's got a bit of an, uh, yeah. So that's the end of the structure. 
And now th this column, when I talk about the slenderness factor and can it take it, well, it just lost. It's, uh, it punctured around it, yet this is not buckling. So it's interesting. I I'm going down that rabbit hole. I need to know the size, the dimensions of these two guys here that said, I don't care. Wait a minute. It's these two guys here. I got, uh, yeah, it's these two guys. The guys parked here, so I apologize for that. They're, they're not buckling, and that's a bit of an overhang. They are not buckling. All right, so that, that's very important to understand that, too. Here's the garage floor plan, Gregory. What I want to know is where this, uh, um, where the, uh, this, this supposedly sump that was in this building pumping water out, is it close to our, to my, uh, number 11? That ramp, I think the gate is here, and it comes down here, and we see that, that concrete is destroyed. If that's the case, that, that ramp is on grade. It's not supporting... Um, it's not on a deck that's that's low. That's, it's direct to the ground. So I see that I see some con some buckling in the. Um, I'm sorry, spalling in the concrete rebar, jacking it off. Yeah, I said that. Uh, rush jacking. The uh, so I, you know, so what? If that's the curve going down. Um, above ground floor. Uh, AGF deck with 32 by 32 down to AFF above finished floor on the garage. Six inches above finished floor. This is this, uh, I don't know if that's a light post or not, but there's your pool, Gregory. It's sitting by itself. I know that everybody's looking over this at this pool, but the pool appears to be sitting on grade in Florida. It seems kind of odd, right? But Maybe it's protected from being lift, you know, water, the, the water drains out, so it's never, never can lift itself up. It's sort of like putting a pool on your uh, grass. It's, it's no water to, do, to push it up, no water for it to displace and float. Above ground floor deck uh, with 19 by 19 opening on the, on the slab. Um, 30 by 10. 10 by 30 duck opening pool, uh, maybe pool equipment. Uh, as it says, all duck work exposed to uh, vehicle, all duck work exposed to vehicle traffic shall be protected with steel angles as required to be height of four foot above finished floor. Um, so the first floor and it's 12th floor and all that, they're pretty much laid out. We have that guy saying he came out of there out of room number one. He said the floor was, he said the uh, garage below him was collapsing. Take note of what I just said. The garage below him was collapsing. He, he, his floor was not collapsing at that point, or he would be on the ground himself. So he was on floor one, and he was not, it was not, um, is this it? So he's, let's see if I do this. He's down here. He's one of these, I think it's, uh, or might be, he's one of these guys here. But he makes it out. He doesn't say whether he goes out through the other side of the building or through this side. But he, he, he implies it's this side with the, with, the, with the damage. He doesn't say he goes towards the beach. He runs that way. The building just missed us. He doesn't, he doesn't say all that. Um, but he said the ground, garage before, below him collapsed. Um, you know, is he also talking about with the collapse he saw over here? Maybe he saw that. And he's considering that the garage, you know, the, the misunderstanding what, interpreting, mis his interpretation is a misunderstanding of what really happened. I was trying to find some post-tension Gregory in a single strand. All right, so where do I go with this? So Gregory, there's your answer on, on, uh, you guys can follow Gregory over here. He's a structural engineer from South Africa. He's on Twitter over here. Um... And it's as, at Ash Gregory if you want to find him. Uh, and so, Gregory, there's your answer. The pool is on the ground, yet I understand NIST is uh, over here looking around the pool area now. Maybe there's some pumps over there where the water concentration is. This is a ramp going down. Or it says ramp. It doesn't just say, you know, so it appears it goes down. 
So this, I could imagine you would get some water coming down this ramp and oh, a terrible pun on words, but uh, play on words pun, but pooling down here. So if you're going to have a uh, sump, I can imagine a sump being back here and maybe even back in on each side of these, but they, they described it as a sump. Now they pitched all this surface over here. That would be great. Other thing I want to be uh, to bring attention to is the deck with the stamped concrete. Was that stamped concrete added later? Was that extra loading on this deck? Was the stamped concrete extra loading on this deck? And, and still, with all that said, we still need to get the column buckling in some capacity uh, to, uh, have, to have the failure. Or we need a... a, a um, hold on, let me see if I can get it for you. Image, 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 image. So image, image, image. Or we need, uh, let's see, it's right about here where it comes down, right? Where it all stockpiles the materials. Come down this hole here, and then this section goes, and then this section. So to get this one, this is the one that I'm saying that buckled down the bottom and dropped down. Um, you saw the other engineer that they had on uh, the news. He also said the same thing, that, that it was probably a column. He didn't, he didn't want to point out. Exactly this one, but this is the one I, I believe he's referencing. What could you get? Could you get the top failing and then it's loading here and then it's overloading this column and dropping down? I, I don't see that because it's on the pile. Uh, it's the same weight, although it is an impact load. Would it transfer down and buckle down there and drop that after these four, floor, four, four floors um, collapse? What's a higher PSI down here? It's 5,000 up here. So if that was the case, this would buckle first. You would, you would theorize this would buckle first, and these would distribute the load downwards. But if we have this one breaking down here, now the unsupported load, let's see if I can go this way a little bit. All right, so if you get, if you get this column, this, um, if you can get this column uh, to fail, this is some block work here. I believe so if you can get this 16 by 16 column did I get that right yep 16 by 16 column to buckle the unsupported span becomes here and here on this on this beam and they'll try to connect across from each other with a little bit of reinforcement we have this would cause that deflection of all the that deflection where everything would just want to come down towards that direction and we have this coming down towards that direction also um, so, yeah, I want to put this up for Gregory here. Let's go to, before I do that, I'm on 29. I might as well hit 39 while I'm here. So, Gregory, this is the uh, basement level framing plan. And as you can see, they, they avoided the pool. The pool, again, appears to be, you know, built out of block, perhaps, toward walls. Um, looks like it's a lap pool there. Uh, so, I don't, uh, I'm not hip with the... Uh, pool being the start. Here's M and there is 10. So this would be the column um, that I'm fancy on. And it's a 16 by 16. One, two, three, and then four. It's a 16 by 16. And our spans on that one are center line. So let's see if I can figure the center line of this. Um, it looks like I look like I can look for 36. Also, throw some internal breaking inside here that could could help cause this. If I can find some internal uh, failure, it would it would look like that, and it it could look like that. But you'd have to be close, like not M10, uh, M10, M10. Not say for example M10, but say M. M8 or M or this one over here, where it would pull or buckle and pull backwards. But I think the guy in room one, one and one, is right where I mean, it's right where it happened. So his amygdala fired right up and got him the hell out of there. All right. So again, the pool. Here's your isolation of the pool again, Gregory. I have it all isolated. I don't have this pool um, elevation 11 foot 10. So this is elevation 11 foot 10. That's elevation 11 foot 10. This is going to be important that we do that. Let's, let's go to page 39, I believe. 
and I think I'll wrap it up to 1110 elevation. I'm looking for the uh, column plan, and I think this is the beam, yeah. So 1110 column. So there's a, the basement is two foot two. The lobby is 13 foot four inches. So it appears to be a pitch back towards the pool. If the lobby is uh, elevation, elevation is uh, 13, lobby floor is 13 four. That's the page 35. And the deck plan is, I remember I'm going back to 1979 and I have to do this interpretation of these plans too. This clearly could have been um, changed. The, the as built could be different. But we have elevation. Eleven ten. Eleven ten. And I'm going to get lobby level lobby level framing plan. Interesting, this is the uh it also says the lobby. So this is these uh change of column uh change of column type. Okay, so there's a change on on January seventeenth, nineteen eighty. They changed it to be eleven foot ten. And here's 11 foot, is an elevation of 11 foot, of 12 foot 9. So it does have a pitch towards the, uh, they said there's no pitch there, right? There's the building, there's a the footprint of the building right here. Then comes out, jogs over. Um, but yet, I'm seeing 12 foot 9 and 11 foot 10. I'm seeing a, you know, a, a one foot pitch in, in, that, in that distance there. I don't see where it goes from there though. This is the lobby level framing plan. Um, where did it go from there? Roll into the pool? Scuppers over here? Oh, scuppers and all. So let's look at that. Let's look at that. Let's go here and look for no scuppers. So the water up there, I don't see where it goes. It's, these walls are pretty, uh, oh, I apologize. Scupper. 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 See how it penetrates through the wall? You drain. Scuppers. Look at that one even. Scuppers. So that's what I was looking for. Scupper looks like that. Um, all right. I'm going to end the video. And Gregory, you see there's a pitch there, baby. Anyone else? Take care. Bye. Awesome.